Talmud Bavli, Perik Rishon, sorry, Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perik Rishon, Amud Tet Beit, 9b. Um, we're beginning from the previous page, the last few words. Uh, Hashem pleads to Moshe for Moshe to plead to the people. Shaulam Yitzrayim played Kesef or Chlei Zahav, requests from the Egyptian silver vessels and gold vessels. Shelo Yomar, now starting at the top of the page. Ototadik, so that the righteous one, Abraham, shall not say, Ve'avdum ve'inu otam kiem bahem, God fulfilled concerning them, about the brief being habitarim, they will enslave them and they will afflict them. Ba'achrei ken yitzu, and afterwards they will depart with great possessions. He did not fulfill concerning them. Amrullah, the Jews replied to Moses, If only we would go, we would go free ourselves. This is analogous to a person who was incarcerated in prison. And people were telling him, Tomorrow they release you from prison. And they'll give you a great deal of money. And he said to them, I beg of you, just take me out of prison today. And I, I won't ask for anything else. And they lent them. Amarabi Ami Melamed Leh me Shehish Ilum Baal Karham meaning this means that they uh, that they lent that they lent them uh, their silver and gold vessels against their will. Ika de Amri Baal Karham Dimitraim some say this is against the will of Egypt. The Ika de Amri Baal Karham de Shalams and others say that it was against the will of Israel. Man dama ba'al karcham to Mitzrayim t'chsev. The one who says lent against the will of Egypt um, derives this from, from when it's written unvat bait t'chalek shalal, and the dweller within a portion's booty. Man dama ba'al karcham to Israel. The one who says against the will of Israel, mishum mashui. It is because. Uh, it was. It would be an extra burden for them. Vienatzlu et Mitzrayim. So they emptied Egypt. Amar Rabbi Ami. Melamed she asu she asahu she asahu. Sorry, she asu sauha kmitz kmitzuda she ein bad degan. This teaches that they transformed Egypt into into the equivalent of a trap, a mitzuda containing no grain. They transformed, transformed Egypt into the equivalent of the depths of the sea where there are no fish. I shall be as I shall be. The Moshe, the Holy One, blessed you, said to Moses, just going back to Eheye Asher Eheye, I shall be as I shall be. Amar lo hakadosh baruch hu le Moshe, the Holy One blessed you, he said to Moshe, Lech emor lachem le Israel, go and say to Israel, Ani haiti imachem vishibud ze. I was with them in this subjugation in Egypt, va ani eye imachem vishibud be she vishibud. Malchuyot, and I shall be with them uh, at the time of other subjugations in other kingdoms. Moses said before God, Master of the universe, is enough of an affliction. Um, it is enough for it is enough of an affliction at the time. Let's not talk about later trouble. Amalakadosh Baruchu, 
לך אמור להם אהיה שלחני אליכם. כאן תלם אשר בי הסמי תהיו. which refers only to the current situation. אינני השם אינני, אנס מי השם אנס מי. אמר רבי אבהו, רבי אבהו said, למה אמר אליהו אינני שתי פעמים? Why did Elijah say אנס מי twice? מלמד שאמר אליהו לפני הקדוש ברוך הוא, this teaches that אליהו uttered two requests before the Holy One blessed is he. ריבון השולם אסור of the universe. אינני שתרד אש מן השמיים ותאכל כל אשר על המזבח. אנס מי דה פאר שיט קאם דאם פרם הבן וקונסיום אול לדס אמי אולטה ואינני שתשים דעתם כדי שלא יאמרו מעשה כשפים הם. And answer me that you should divert their attention so that they should, say, should not say it was an act of witchcraft. שנאמר as it said ועצה הסיבותה את ליבם אחורנית. Thus you will turn their hearts back. Um, sorry, I went, to, I went a bit too far off the page on the screen. We're going from the Mishnah. Uh, we'll scroll down to... So we're starting from the Mishnah. Okay. Mishnah. May Matai Korin let Shema Beshacharit from when may you recite the Shema in the morning? Mi Sheyakir Ben Tchilet Lelavan from when one can distinguish between blue wool and white wool. Rabbi Eliezer Omer, Rabbi Eliezer says, Bein tchelet lecharti, between blue wool and, and wool, dyed the color of a leek. Ve gomre ad hanet hachama, um, until sunrise. Rabbi Yeshua Omer, ad shalashot, until the first three hours of the day. This is the um, the time to recite the morning Shema. Shekend erech malachim lamod b'shloshalot, for it is the custom of kings to rise um, with within three hours of daybreak. Hakore mikan ve'elach lo hifsid. One who recites Shema from that point on, the end of the third hour, does not lose. Kadam hakore batura as one who. It, he's rewarded as one who reads from the Torah. So even though he's gone past the appropriate time, he's rewarded for saying the Shema as one who reads from the Torah. The Gemara. May ben tchelet lavan, what is meant between blue wool and white wool? E lama, e ben gvava, damra, chivara, ligvava, damra, if you'll say between a bundle of white wool and a bundle of blue wool, this might not be correct. For even at night one would surely know the difference between two such dissimilar colours. Rather, between the blue wool in the bundle and the white wool in it. Oh, this so that means if you have a bundle of imperfectly dyed wool, um, then you can see the white that's still in between the blue, the dyed blue um, wool in the same bundle. Tanya, it has been taught in a bray. So Rabbi Meir Omer, Mi sheyakir ben ze'ev lechelev, from when one can shema can be recited from when one can distinguish between a wolf and a dog. Rabbi Akiva Omer. Ben Chamor La Arud, between a donkey and a wild donkey. Bacharim Amrim, others say, Mi She Ir Et Chavero Rachok Arba Amot Vaikirenu, from when one can see his friend 
who is four amot away and recognize him at that distance. Amar Rav Huna, halacha ka'achayrim, the halacha is in accordance with the others. Um, I think the others refers to Rabbi Meir Baal Hanes. Amar Abaye, lit filin ka'achayrim, um, and to put on the tefillin is in accordance with the others. Likriyat shma kavatikin, and and in regard to shma, it is in accordance. The halacha is in accordance with the vatikin, the devoted ones, um, people who are especially humble uh, and hasten to perform their mitzvahs. Tama Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan said, Vatikin Hayo Gomrim Ota Im Hanetzachama. The devoted ones would um, complete their Shema with sunrise. Tanya Nami Hachi, this is also being taught in a Baraisa. Vatikin Hayo Gomrim Ota Im Hanetzachama. The devoted ones would complete the Shema with sunrise. Kedei Shi Smach Geola Litfila, so that they can join the redemption to their Tfila, meaning. The uh, the bracha just prior to to the Shemon Esrei is Baruch Atah Hashem Ga'al Yisrael, um, and then begin their prayer, their tefillah, which is the Shemon Esrei, um, at, at the point of sunrise. V'nim samid palel boyom, and be found praying by day, meaning that they will be saying the Shemon Esrei by daytime when the sun comes up. Ama Rabbi Zera, Rabbi Zera said, My Kara, what is it? What is the verse? Yerucha im Shamesh Velifne Yareach Dor Dorem. They will feed you with the sun and before the moon for generations upon generations. Ha'e Heid Rabbi Yossi ben Eliakim Mishum Kala Kadisha Tevir Shalim. Rabbi Yossi ben Eliakim testified in the name of the Holy Congregation that is in Jerusalem. Anyone who joins the redemption um, to prayer, that is at the point of sunrise at night, no harm will befall him all that day. Ama Rabbi Zera, any, is this true? Vahana smachai vit But I, but I once did this, and harm did befall me. Amar le, he said to Rabbi Zera, b'may. Itazak, what harm befell you? De amityat asa leve malka, that you were forced to bring myrtles to the house of the king, of the king at great expense. But where is the harm in this? Hatam nami mi bai lach lemehav agra lemechze ape malka. In that case, you would have even been required to offer payment to see the face of a king. De amar of Yochanan. A person must always endeavor to run to greet the kings of Israel. And not only to greet the kings of Israel, um, even to greet the kings of idolaters. She'im is care, so that if one merits, um, Yavchin bein malchei Israel and malchei of day of day kachavim to distinguish between the kings of Israel and the kings of idolaters. So it helps make it distinguish, helps you distinguish. So we're at uh, Amarle, um, Amarle Rabbi Ella Leula. So. We're just going to scroll up here. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so we're at Amar Le Rabbi Ella, which is about um, seventy percent down the page, uh, where. About six lines up in the middle block. 
Amale Rabbi Ila le Ula, Rabbi Ila said to Ula, Ki Ailit Ayelat Lehatam, when you go up there to Eret Israel, She'el Bishlama de Rav Baruna Achi Bemaamad Koha Chavura, inquire after the well being of my brother Rav Bruna in the presence of the entire group. Dadam Gadol Hu Vesamech Bimitzvot, for he is a great man and rejoices, and rejoices in mitzvot. Zimna Chada Samach Geula Litvila. Once he joined redemption to prayer, Velo Pasichucha Mipumeha Mipumei Kulei Yoma, and the smile did not leave his lips all day. Hechi Matzei Samir. How can one manage to join? Um, how can they? How can they manage to join the prayers? Vaha Amar Rabbi Yochanan, but Rabbi Yochanan said, Batchila Hu Omer. Hashem Svatai Tiftach. At the beginning of Shemun Esra, one must say the verse, um, Hashem Svatai Tiftach, Hashem open my lips. Ulvasov, who are mer, Yilaratan Imri Pi Vegomer. And at the end, one must say, may the expressions of my mouth find favor. So therefore, the verse of Hashem open my lips. Uh, Interposes between the redemption blessing and the prayer. How can the two be joined? Gemara answers, Amar Rabbi Elazar, Rabbi Elazar said, Tehebit fila shel arvit. Let Rabbi Yochanan's ruling be applied to the arvit prayer. Bahama Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan said, Ezehu ben haolam ben haolam haba. Who is one um, as being destined for the world to come? Zehus Hasomech Geula Shel Arvit Litfila Shel Arvit. It is one who joins the redemption of Mariv with the prayer of Mariv. The redemption blessing of Mariv with the prayer of Mariv. Ela Amar Rabbi Elazar, Rab, rather Rabbi Elazar said, Tehe Bitfilat Hamincha. Let Rabbi Hanun's ruling be applied to the prayer of Mincha, um, which has no blessing. Of redemption. Rabbi Yashi Amar, Afilo Tema Akul Hu, even if you'll say to all, Bechevan Dikva Dikva Uha, Rabbanan Bitfila, for once the rabbis instituted this verse with prayer, with Tfila, Kitfila Arichta Damia, it is like one long prayer. Dei lo tema hachi. For if you do not say this, arvit hechi matzei samich. In the evening, how can they possibly be joined? Vahaba eila mei marhash kivenu. For one is required to recite the law of the, the prayer of laying us down. Eila kevan detakinu rabbanan hashkivenu. Rather, since the rabbis instituted lay us down to follow the blessing of redemption. Kigula arichta demaya. It is like one long blessing of redemption. Hachanami, likewise here. Kevan tikva uha rabbanan betfila. Once the rabbis instituted its recitation with prayer, kitfila arichta damya. It is like one long prayer. Mikti, let's see. The verse may the expressions of my mouth find favor. Mashma levasof. It is meaning at the end of the prayer. Umashma me ikara deva eina lamema, and it has meaning at the beginning. Um, in the beginning of the prayer that one has to recite. My tama. Taknuhu Rabbanan Lachash Moneshe Barachot. Brachot, what is the reason that the rabbis established um, that we do it after the 18 blessings, after Shmoneshe? Lemru Meikara, let it be recited at the beginning. Ama Rabbi Yoda Bereit Rabbi Shimon Ben Pazi, Rabbi Yoda, the son of Rabbi Shimon Ben Pazi, said, Ho'il Belo Amro David Ela Lachash Moneshe Parashiot. King David did not pronounce this verse until after the 18 chapters of Tehillim. Lifichach takino rabbanan la'achash monei shrebrachot. 
So the rabbis established um, Yeratzon after the 18 blessings because um, Yeratzon is the 19th to healing. But these 18 chapters are actually 19 chapters. They're actually 19 um, I see the Yerotzon is actually at the end of the 19th chapter which means that there's part of a 19th chapter that's not included and therefore there are 19 chapters. Uh, pray to where the is the man and why do the nations gather. This is actually one long chapter. That's the first two to heal him are actually one long to heal him. And a proof of this, Dama Rabbi Hodabareta Rabbi Shimon Ben Pazi, for Rabbi Hoda said the son, uh, for Rabbi Hoda, the son of Rabbi Shimon Ben Pazi said, they would pronounce 103 chapters of Tehillim. But did not say hallelujah until he perceived the downfall of the wicked. For it stated, Let sinners cease from the earth and let the wicked be no more. Bless my soul, bless Hashem, hallelujah. These 103 chapters are actually divided into 104 chapters. Parashahi. Evidently, we learn from this. Praise where these men and white of the nations gather um, are actually one long chapter. Chapter. And now another proof that the first two chapters are actually one long chapter. Amar Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmani. Amar Rabbi Nachman. For Rabbi Shmuel, so Bar Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmani said in the name of Rabbi Nachman. Continue on the next page.